at your doorstep. Welcome back. Well, hope you're having a good morning. Uh, our markets are set to kickstart a new series today. That's the uh, April series, and also it's the final day of this uh, fiscal. So let's see how that plays out. To help us out to analyze various sectors and how markets are shaping up, Aditya Suresh, uh, Head India Research and Strategy at McQuarrie, joins us on the show. Hi, Aditya. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining in. Well, Aditya, when we spoke a month or so ago, you were telling us you're fairly cautious on the Indian markets. And I think you were factoring in an 8 to around 10% correction in the markets. Well, we've got a few percentage points, actually. But going by when we spoke and that, you know, uh, and just deducting 8 to 10%, my guess is that you were factoring in a better entry level for the Indian markets, around 16,000, 16,200. How would you view the Indian markets at around the 17,000 odd mark? Good morning. So I think it's the same position, right? Uh, so at the start of the year, we were saying we, we, we end, uh, end down about, say, 10, 10% thereabouts. Uh, we're along that path. Um, uh, today at 17,000, we still think that that there is um, a cautious kind of um, uh, stance to be, which, which is warranted. Um, uh, we're still maintaining that. We still think that from an earnings perspective, there are cuts to work through. Uh, domestic flows, foreign flows, still not as supportive. Uh, so maintain that cautious stance here, Nigel. Aditya, uh, <clears throat> you know, the, uh, so at an institutional broker, you will not have, uh, you won't cover uh, smaller names, you, you, you minimum kind of criteria, etc., uh, liquidity and market cap uh, and so on and so forth. But uh, I was looking at, uh, you know, companies with market caps of over a thousand crores of this year uh, so far. 75% of that universe is actually down. About uh, almost 25% of that uh, universe, actually more, uh, is down more than 20%. Uh, so <clears throat> the broader markets are have, have taken a fair bit of a beating, right? Even as the Nifty has not lost that much, it's down 7-8%. Uh, so, I mean, do you look at these larger measures as well to understand where sentiment is and uh, how beaten up that is? And what implications does that have? Uh, for uh, future prospects? Well, Prashant, I think all these are, are really important uh, <clears throat> considerations, right? Uh, and in terms of um, how we're thinking about within our own coverage as, uh, as well, uh, is, is it's not to say that we, we prefer large caps, small caps uh, in a kind of broad brush sense, but we're thinking about kind of what growth is already kind of built into some of these stocks. And in some cases, we've actually gone ahead and upgraded some of our small mid caps, which we... Um, uh, where we thought kind of uh, the, the valuations had pulled back to more reasonable kind of levels, right? So it is being selective. Uh, and I would say that in terms of some of these growth expectations kind of built in, being built into numbers, uh, they're becoming a bit more realistic uh, in a broader market sense, Prashant. Uh, if you're, you're looking at kind of uh, India kind of pricing in, say, 15% two-year forward EPS growth, uh, I still think that there are cuts to kind of work through. Uh, and to that extent, we're still in that, in that kind of cautious, uh, uh, in that cautious camp. Okay, so when you say that you are optimistic on certain small and mid caps and you've upgraded them, can you help us with uh, some sectors, some stocks that you like, where you know valuations are now looking reasonable and there is perhaps growth potential as well? Yeah, so, so I'll avoid the stocks, but but like for example, in the in, sure. the, in the energy space, uh, there are a few names which are in that value camp, which I think are interesting. Um, uh, even in some of the um, the, the new age um, names, um, uh, there we think valuations are kind of can become a bit more attractive um, uh, at these levels. Uh, still not not outright buys, but in terms of uh, the, the growth being priced in, as I said, uh, that that is kind of it's it's more in sync, right? Uh, so so some of these new age names we are coming at the margin a bit more constructive uh, in the energy space. That's an area where uh, I think there's there's inherently a lot, lot of value, uh, and the stocks have meaningfully kind of pulled back. So when you talk about the energy space, uh, what are your thoughts also on, you know, this PNGRB notifying this unified tariff order for uh, the gas transmission network? Any thoughts on what the impact this would have on the industry, uh, the oil and gas space and any specific pockets that you'd like? So I think this is incredibly positive for the midstream uh, gas companies, right? Uh, and so uh, thinking about the largest kind of midstream company, uh, which is trading at, let's say, five times PE, uh, the impact on earnings is... Uh, is substantial uh, because um, what you're really having is that uh, the, the tariff in itself, for, for example, for kale, 
which is at say say 43 44 rupees there is meaningful upside here to, to that tariff number based on this um uh, on this unified tariff order so i think that's that's really constructive here for earnings for the midstream which therefore i think should help uh, with the capacity expansion plans uh for the industry uh and and, and india clearly has this this big kind of ambition to uh, to 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 expand uh, gas pipeline capacity, increase gas proportion, the energy mix, uh, and all this is is a positive step in that direction. So for these companies, right, whether it's a Gale, a GSPL, Gujarat Gas, even something like an ONGC, uh, would you scale up your earnings estimate? I mean, you spoke about how it's positive on the whole for the uh, for the sector, but would you scale up your earnings estimates based on this news flow? And if yes, uh, for which companies would you do that? So Gale in particular stands to benefit the most in terms of earnings mm -hmm. upgrades. Uh, um, and uh, the impact of this higher tariff is is fairly substantial on, on Gale's pipeline earnings. Uh, so that's the one in particular uh, to kind of focus on in terms of earnings upgrades. Okay. All right. Uh, you know what? We'll come back to you for more. Uh, Aditya, we have many more questions for you on individual stocks, sectors, etc. But we also...